Letters by Amerigo, Part 3. Your Magnificence doubtly knows how at the commission of their highness, the sovereigns of Spain, I departed with two caravels on 18 May 1499 to go off and make discoveries in the western regions by way of the ocean sea, and I set my course along the African coast, navigating by way of the fortunate islands, now called the Canary Islands. And then, when I had secured all necessary provisions, and we had said our orisons and prayers, we set from the island known as Gomorrah, and turning our prows to the southwest, sailed for twenty-four days with a fresh wind, without sighting any land. After the twenty-four days, we did sight land, and we found that we had sailed about thirteen hundred leagues from the city of Cadiz in a southwesterly direction. On seeing land, at last we gave thanks to God, launched our boats, and with sixteen men went ashore to a land we found so full of trees it was a great marvel. Not only the size of the trees, but their verdure, too, for they never shed their foliage, and the sweet scent emanating from them for all our aromatic was so soothing to our nostrils that it had quite a restorative effect upon us. And we rowed along the shore in the boats to see if we might find a suitable place to land, and since it was shallows, we labored into the night without finding a passage or a fit place to enter inland. We were prevented not only by it being lowland, but also by the density of the trees, so that we decided to return to the ships and to go further on and try landing elsewhere. We saw something marvelous that in that sea. Fifteen leagues from land, we found water as fresh as a river and drank from it, filling all of our empty casks.